Steph's excited! <laughs> Jasmine, that's yours! And then the half marathons, Moana. Shopping, check. I didn't film any of the shopping merch. <laughs> I told you, I told you. <laughs> this way. Pretzels. Water parks. Water parks. Food. Chicken waffle, strawberry, lemon, drinks. Have a great race. Hello, everyone. Sorry, I have something in my eye. Ah. Um, so I didn't film a whole lot this day um, because I really wanted to, to um, put all of my attention into um, Stephanie because it was her first expo and like explain things. And I didn't want to like step out or miss out on anything in particular. Um, and so I just kind of like wanted to like follow her in a sense or bounce off of her. I also like wasn't feeling a hundred percent this day, um, because I was still recovering. I mean, I'm still recovering from a head cold. You can hear it in my voice. Um, but like I, wasn't at a hundred percent. Um, and honestly, a lot of the booths were kind of the same that have been in the past. So other than the merchandise, which honestly the merchandise we wanted to, oh, that, and we really didn't have a lot of time to spend there because poor thing lost her phone at Disney Springs. And so we had to rush over to Disney Springs and hope and pray that they had it. They didn't have it. We think someone actually stole her phone, um, rips in the chat for Steph's phone. Anyway, um, so, like, my mind was other places to this day, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So, I didn't film too much. So, what I decided to do this go around. Um, also, I am beating myself up for not filming the merch that they had because the merch that they had, this race was super, super cute. Um, I actually, I'm gonna have to pause this. Um, I, there's merchandise that I got a ton of stuff, like a ton of stuff. Um, and thank you, Disney. Um, for giving cast members 50% off because I actually ended up getting more things than I anticipated. That said, I actually need to go get those things. So I just remembered one second. Okay, I got the things. Some of the things. Um, so actually we'll start out with these. Um, so Corksicle, very specific. Um, but I did get discounted one of their mugs recently and I've kind of fallen in love with them. Um, so I got three. <laughs> so honestly, I will admit, so we ended up getting an earlier virtual queue. Um, we went to get our bib first, if you can't tell in the video. Um, and then we went, our virtual queue started after that. Um, we waited in a somewhat long line. We waited about 20, 30 minutes to get our bibs. But considering our virtual queue didn't really start until like closer to 10 or a little after 10 for the merchandise, um, we had plenty of time to kill. And um, when we got there around like 930. Um, also, they parked us closer to the front than they have like recently for me. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, but anyway, so we got our bibs and then we went straight to the Run Disney merchandise. And I will tell you, if I had known that they had um this cork sickle um set so they have several princess sets um but they didn't have ariel and so i was planning on getting cinderella or looking into getting cinderella and then i saw that they had this you can't tell but it actually has a holographic shimmer to the to the uh, green you really can't tell in this video um it's gorgeous it's beautiful if i realized they had this there's a mug that I have that I would not have gotten. Um, but this was one of the things that I got at the Corksicle booth. Um, she almost, got, my friend Stephanie almost got a Sokatano. Um, but anyway, let's jump into that. So the Run Disney merchandise, the mug that I did get that I wouldn't have gotten, it was this one. Um, um, also, again, I loved the designs for everything that they had. Like if money was no issue, I would have gotten so many different things. But they had... 
It says 15 15 year anniversary. Um, this also has a holographic sparkle to it, which is the main reason why I got it. Um, I would not have gotten it if I knew the other one, but this one's really cute. It's got all the princesses from the race and a little castle, but I really like this size because this is typically the size drink that I get for like tea and coffee. And so this is perfect for me. It doesn't fit in the car, which is ultimately why I got this one because this would fit in the car. Um, but I love the Corksicle brand because they have like a heavy bottom so it doesn't tip and it also has like a little bit of a rubberized bottom so it stays a lot better. I have tea in this. And then also steel containers keep your warm drinks warmer longer. Same thing with cold drinks. Speaking of cold drinks, I this is the one purchase that I knew 100% I was going to get. So I actually recently broke one of my water cups and I was really bummed out about it. And this has two of my favorite colors. My favorite colors are pink and purple. But what I love about this, and I gotta tell you a fun fact about this as well, is it's got um it's got like their castle and then like a little um mascot, like that's Raja for Jasmine for each of the princesses. But something that I noticed the other day, I was looking at this. So Moana was the half marathon and Cinderella is the basically the two course, so the 10K and the half marathon. For whatever reason, they, oh, you can't even see it here, but this, the Moana number and the Cindy number are swapped. This is supposed to be 13.1, and then the Cinderella one is supposed to be 19.3, and I didn't notice this until literally yesterday um, after our 5K, and so I don't know if that's a fluke or they just misprinted this, because this is the only Corksicle brand for this, so I don't know if the Corksicle got the wrong number or what, but I thought that was funny. Um, so let me quickly go through some of the other things that I got. Um, they had the, um, sheets, like the posters that you can like run, like, um, motivational stuff for like spectators. Um, and then they also were giving out stickers. So they have stickers for each of the princesses, um, each of the races, and they have some fun Disney ones, um, that I thought were really cute. Um, we each got these for free. I thought that was cute. Oh, they also have the race number and time. That's cute. Um, maybe I'll put that on like a journal or something. Um, that was in the expo or the um, Visa Center, I should say. Um, I needed more socks. So they actually had nice running socks. They had run Disney socks that I got um, that had like a grip in the middle um, for my plantar fasciitis and everything. So that was exciting. Didn't plan on getting these, but I was like, you know what? I need socks. Um, my 5k shirt is in the wash right now because I wore it to the parks yesterday after our 5k. Um, but this is my, and these are like the free shirts that they give you. This is my 10k shirt. I'm going to be wearing this tomorrow when Jared and I go out. I love the designs so much. I love this like block little to no line style it's always been one of my favorites for designs and i love the diamond that's one of the things that i love about um like the the long diamond design like the art deco i think might be what it's called um for like sleeping beauty and even frozen i've always liked that um i also got this was from the fit to run booth um it's sometimes hard to find like really cute, like magical type running shirts. Um, but the Fit to Run had a lot of really cute ones this year. So I got this. It's got little pixie dust stars. That was the thing that sold it for me. It's a very thin material, which will be really nice to like run outside with. Or like a post-race shirt or even a PJ shirt. Um, but I thought it was really cute. They had like a Cinderella slipper one that had some fun sayings on it too. I was like really impressed. So I hope Fit to Run keeps that up because like they had some really fun shirts. Um, of course, I got my 10K pin. Gotta get it. Um, oh, I also... Is it in here? Okay. Um, so, I, if you don't know, I get a pin for every single race, and I put it on my very first lounge fly, which was a half marathon lounge fly for the 10-year anniversary. And it's since become my gym bag. And so, I'm going to... Um, basically, I'm going to retire it, and it's going to become like a pin collection memorabilia bag that I'm going to keep hang up and keep all of my goodies in. Um, and then, oh, I also got some, um, compression, some purple compression socks. I needed, um, more compression socks in another color, um, because I only have like black and blue, black and blue. And then this is the last thing that I got. Um, so I got this not because I ran it because I thought the pattern was so cute. 
and I wanted like a jacket to wear for work. This was the two course one. The challenge, the fairy tale challenge is what it's called. I keep calling it the two course, but it's a fairy tale challenge. Um, I just like, I love some, I wanted to get this as a work jacket because like I wanted to get something lightweight that looks really cute. It's Cinderella. I work for Cinderella. Um, this pink is a beautiful color. Um, it's like nice and thick, but not like too thick. And it's like very durable. All of the material for their stuff that they sold was like very durable and very good quality. I was very much impressed with everything that they offered. So anyway, that, oh, best for last. Is this my new favorite lounge fly? Possibly. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is it's smaller than the other lounge flies, but I love that it has like a little handle here. Um, this is really cute, and I want to take rhinestones and put them in all of this. And so, yeah, I love it. I love all of my purchases that I've made. Very excited to sign up for the next races. Um, and yeah, if you have any questions about the expo, let me know. I know this video wasn't really informative. It was more of a haul, but... Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!